One of the things that myself and Night Timber have in common is that we both believe there is no shortcut to perfection. My name is Lee Westcott. I'm a Michelin star chef, and this is Best of British with Night Timber. When I started here in, in 2007, Night Timber and English sparkling wines were more like a, a rough cut diamond. Over the years of refinement, hard work, attention to detail, slowly I think the, the, the potential is, is beginning to show itself. My name is Brad Graytrix. I am a winemaker here at Night Timber. Night Timber has a tremendous history. First of all, the estate dates back to at least 1086. The first written mention was in the Doomsday Book, published in that year. Along the way, some uh, illustrious owners, not least of all King Henry VIII. But as a vineyard, our history is more recent. It was in 1988 that the first vines were planted here. And although that may not seem so long ago, Night Timber were the first to plant Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Pinot Meunier for sparkling wine production in England and therefore are the pioneers of the modern English sparkling wine industry. Today, walking around with Brad, I learned a lot about the different variety of grapes that goes into each individual wine, how important the seasons are, the terroir of the land, how integral that is to the wine. You know, they've broken down barriers into territories where previously only champagne could tread. We've gone to great lengths to seek out the best parcels of land in three different counties across the south of England where we make no compromise on aspect, on soil, on shelter, uh, and all the conditions that vines need in order to thrive. Night Timber is passionate about gastronomy, I guess, first and foremost, uh, because we are wine and food lovers at our core. A strong relationship between a winemaker and a chef is, is, is vital. We want to show off Great Britain as an amazing viticultural country, but a natural partnership with us is, is the, the food industry and chefs and hospitality. The whole creative process of pairing wine with food, it's all about balance. So the dish I'm gonna be cooking today is some beautiful lobster with English peas and asparagus, a little bit of sorrel, and then a lovely roasted lobster oil. For a great relationship between winemaker and chef, that, that dialogue, that communication, that shared understanding is vitally important. Today we've chosen the, the classic cuvee to serve and Lee is working on a seafood dish to pair the flavors that he's chosen I think are gonna make an incredible match and I'm looking forward to tasting the results. The delicate, sweet taste of the lobster pairs perfectly with the complex, yet subtle and delicate flavours of the classic cuvee. And that's why I've chosen this dish. <laughs>